Hi guys! So, it's Thursday again. Super bilis ng araw. Minsan parang ayoko mag Thursday kasi Friday, Saturday, weekend na naman. I love weekends kaya lang parang super bilis kasi nung araw. Par parang last time kaka weekend lang then weekend na naman. Super bilis ng araw na sometimes hindi mo pa ganun kasi natatapos kung ano man yung dapat mo i-accomplish within that week. So, Magugulat ka na lang. Weekend na naman kinabukasan. Anyway, guys, kaninang umaga, super, super, ang um, weird. Um, kasi kanina, nag-lunch uh, ako din. Ilalagay, ilalagay ko na sa dishwasher yung uh, pinagkainan ko. <coughs> then, wait lang. Then, ayun, guys, ilalagay ko na yung pinagkainan ko sa dishwasher. Then, pag-open ko ng dishwasher, Parang ang linis nung, ang linis nung door nung dishwasher. Then, nung chinek ko yung mga plato, ang linis ah, kasi white yung plate namin. Ang, parang, walang mancha, ganun. So, ang ginawa ko, sabi ko, siguro na load na to ng asawa ko kagabi kasi ah, nauna ko umakit sa kanya. Ay, ito, niload niya na. Kasi ako naglagay ng mga plates and uh, utensils sa loob ng dishwasher. Pero hindi ko pa siya niload kasi hindi pa puno yung dishwasher kasi most of the time nilo-load namin siya pag puno na kasi sayang sa water and sa soap pag uh, ilo-load mo siya ng paulit-ulit. So, ang ginagawa namin, uh, within, after uh, nung whole day, pag, naka, pag di namin na kami and all, saka lang namin siya i-load and also pag puno na talaga. So, ayun, kala ko nilo-load niya kahit hindi pa puno yung dishwasher. So, ang ginawa ko, binalik ko sa cabinets yung mga plates, yung mga utensils. Tapos, patapos na ako, guys. Ang pinakahuli kong ilalagay, yung tupperware saka yung ano niya, yung cover, yung lid. Yung tupperware kasi namin, yung uh, glass siya, pero yung lid niya, ano, plastic. Nabalik ko na yung glass, tapos yung lid, sabi ko, ba't ganun ang, ano, ang oily? Tapos, may mancha pa na konti. Tapos, ayun, <laughs> Tapos, edi, ang ginawa ko, binalik ko na lang yung lead. Yung lead lang binalik ko. <laughs> the rest, uh, pinagpatuloy ko. Until, nung sa, ano na, nung sa mga kaldero na, sabi ko, ba't ang oily din neto? Nung, ano, nung pan. Tapos, yun, na-realize ko na, baka nga hindi ni load, pero, nagtaka pa rin uli ako, bakit yung plato, ang linis, ganyan. Tapos naalala ko kasi uh, madalas natanggalin ko talaga siya ng mga dumi or yung mga dumikit na kanin or something before ko ilagay sa dishwasher para hindi, para mas, ano, mas malinis siya pag niload mo sa dishwasher. So, ayun, medyo nakakainis guys kasi uh, nahalo na yung mga maduming plato sa maduming utensils dun sa malinis. So, I have no choice but to Uh, ibalik yung mga uh, yung mga madumi saka yung malinis na hawaan. So, ayun, punong-puno yung dishwasher namin ngayon. Medyo nakakainis lang kasi doble, doble yung work. Anyway, guys, today I'm going to discuss yung kung paano mo machi-check yung validity ng iyong tourist visa. Hindi mo na kailangan magbilang manual, manual bilang ng 30 days or so. And, uh, kung paano mag, uh, extend ng visa without, uh, exiting the country. So, guys, super bilis lang nito, super madali. So, sana uh, may matutunan kayo today. Although, it's quite hard because yung UAE kasi sobrang lagi siyang paiba-iba ng, paiba-iba ng rules and regulations. So, it's better na updated kayo guys. So, itong isi-share ko, et, eto, as of now, yung ginagawa ko. Yung previews, of course, I'm not sure and I don't know. I don't want to share something na hindi ko naman talaga na-experience. So, this one, eto yung ginagawa ko uh, ngayon, kapag patapos na yung tourist visa ko and I wanted to extend it na hindi kailangan lumabas ng UAE mismo. So, guys, I'm going to show it to you now. So guys, if you want to check yung validity na yung visa, just go to https 
government.ae Welcome to the United Arab Emirates government portal. So you can browse uh, it. Then just click the information and services. Then makikita niyo dito ang iba't ibang services like visa and Emirates ID, jobs, education, business, moving to the UAE. Justice and law. So guys, if you're interested to know more about it, uh, just visit their website. So, if you want to Check the validity of your visa. Just go to Visa and Emirates ID. Then there is a lot of questions here. Depends sa ano yung need mo malaman. So inquire about UAE visa issues types of visa and entry permits so we will just click the track visa application and validity then you will be redirected to this page track visa application and validity So guys, you can check here, you can track your visa application kung ano, ano na ba yung nangyayari. If ever man madali siya, uh, hindi mo siya makuha the next day, hindi mag-send ng email update, you can track it here. You can track your visa here if you applied through Etihad. You just need to click this one. And if you applied through Emirates Airline, you can click this one. Check on the status of your visa application made through Air Arabia. And check visa application made through Fly Dubai. So guys, ito pala. May other airline pa na nag... Na nag provide ng visa. Air Arabia and Fly Dubai. Fly Dubai actually guys, uh, connected siya sa Emirates Airline. Because before na try ko, <coughs> nang pauwi ako ng Pilipinas, nag uh, book ako ng Emirates. Then since uh, hindi siya puno, pinag-combine, kinombine yung Fly Dubai na, na mga sasakay dun sa Emirates. So I think it's still under Emirates yung sponsor ng visa pag nag-book sa Fly Dubai. I'm not just sure kung if, if it's cheaper or if mag-book ka specifically na Fly Dubai, dapat yung i-book mo na flight. So guys, ito, yung as, as uh, mentioned, track visa application lang. Hindi yung validity ng visa application. So, if you want to check the validity, dito, ito yung link na dapat mong puntahan. Check your visa validity. Okay. So, just click this one. Then, as you can see here, you can search by file number or passport information. And the type either residency or visa. So, guys, if uh, hindi mo kabisado yung file number, you can just uh, input your passport information. So, for sure naman may copy ka nito sa either sa phone mo or, some, or either kabisado mo. Because ako before, kabisado ko yung passport number ko. 
But now, since kakarinyo ko lang, hindi ko siya kabisado. So, select the type. It's either residency or visa. So, I'm going to click visa because it's a tourist visa I have applied. So, here, you just need to type your passport number. Uh, makikita mo siya sa upper right ng iyong passport. Doon siya guys sa taas ng inyong picture sa passport. Then, next, yung passport expiry date. So, ngayon sa Pilipinas, uh, na-approve na yung 10-year passport validity, right? So, most of us, 10 years na yung passport. So, makikita mo siya sa lower mi middle part. <laughs> lower middle part ng yung passport. Then, nationality, uh, you can, if you don't know our, uh, the number code, obviously, uh, since hindi, hindi mo pa ganun kabisado. We are actually, the code of our country is actually 237. So, pag tinite mo siya dito, lalabas Philippines. See, Philippines. Pero pag, of course, hindi mo alam yung number, it's okay. Just, you can just choose here kung ano man yung, yung, yung nationality. Then, you just need to click this. I'm not a robot. Then, if uh, it's successful, just click search. So, my name just going to put my passport number, guys. So, guys, if you click yung I'm not a robot, may ilalabas na... I'm not sure if it's, if it's called CAPTCHA. So, you just need to select... All images with a fire hydrant. So there, just click. Then click very. Then click verify. So once it's okay, uh, maglalabas siya dyan ng check, green check if it's correct. Then just click straight. So guys, once it's okay at na-check na ng computer na hindi kayo robot <laughs> and you click the search, ito yung lalabas. As you can see there, yung file number lalabas siya. Then yung sa file information, nakalagay yung file status if it if may expire na ba yung visa mo or what. Then yung file expiry date. So, ayun nga yung sinabi ko kanina guys, hindi nyo na kailangan magbilang manually kung ilang days na bang nakalipas. Then, yung file issuance date. So, ayun guys, di ba super dali niya. Now, I'm going to uh, discuss yung pag-apply ng extension. Actually, extension, super dali lang niya, super bilis. Same lang din dun sa, actually, same lang din dun sa ano, kung paano kayo nag-apply ng tourist visa. It's just that you need to click the other tab, which is the extend visa. So, for the extension of visa, um, pwede, pwede mo lang siyang gawin once. For example, nag-apply ka ng tourist visa, right? 30 days. After the 30 days, may expired na yung visa mo, you can apply for extension once only. Pag na-apply yung ex pag na-apply extension mo and nagamit mo na uli yung 30 days, hindi ka na pwede mag-apply uli for extension. Kailangan mo nang lumabas ng UAE. Kailangan mo na mag-exit ng bansa. And you need from there you need to if you're uh, planning to return here in UAE, you need to reapply new visa. Ayun yung nagko ayun yung cost uh, cost ng uh, 361 yung as in bagong application. Bali for the extension of visa, it's around 1000 dirhams. I will just check guys. 
space dun sa aking binayaran. Mahal siya guys. Ayun guys, anyway, it's around uh, less than 1,000 dirham. It's, I think, 950 something, 955. Almost 1,000 na rin. So, yun, mahal siya guys. Then, nung nag-renew ako before, sabi ko sa asawa ko, I think uh, better kung mag-exit ano na, mag na lang ako sa Oman. Then, ayun nga, almost the same. If you, if kinumpute mo, almost the same din kasi mag -ano ka, e-exit ka, tapos bibili ka ng visa sa Oman, or uh, uh, if uh, instance na hindi lumabas agad, mag-ano ka, kailangan mo mag-book ng, ng hotel sa Oman or or something na tutuluyan. So, ayun guys. So, anyway guys, I'm going to show you kung saan nga ba mag-book ng extension ng inyong visa. So, guys, it's the same process as yesterday. You just need to go to Etihad's uh, visa application. Just click apply. Then, ayan guys. If mapapansin nyo, meron dito ang extend visa na button. Sa may tourist visa. Then, multiple entry tourist visa. May extend button din siya. Long term visit visa. Meron din. Long term Multiple entry. So, ayun. Yung mga tourist visa na either single uh, single entry or multiple entry or long term. May ex ano siya. Pwede siyang i-extend. So, click nyo lang yung button guys. So, naklik ko na siya kanina. Ayan. Si almost same procedure. All although ang yung information mo dun naka ano na, naka as is na. I pagkinlik mo yan, nandun pa rin yung ano mo, yung finilapan mo before. So, you just need to recheck everything and reattach some information if may gusto ka baguhin. So, ayun guys, I hope I was able to help you even a bit sa pag-apply na extension ng inyong tourist visa and sa pag-check ng validity ng inyong tourist visa. I hope you can like and subscribe on my channel. Thank you!